Well, right now at 5.30, officers are patrolling a Zebulon neighborhood where this man's body was found in a park just days after he disappeared. Tonight, investigators are still trying to figure out what happened to Kareem Shabazz, leaving a community on edge. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ashley Rowe. And I'm Dan Haggerty. In the next few days, the medical examiner will release some new information about what they believe happened at this scene. But WRL's Eric Miller tells us neighbors are wondering why it took so long to find his body. On Weaver's Pond Drive Tuesday, the police are gone and the pond is empty. Drained by investigators in the search for more evidence in the death of Kareem Shabazz. And we've had officers out in that specific spot uh, for the last week. According to Town of Zebulon spokesperson Caleb Harmon, the area was searched thoroughly by multiple dog teams, and having a body pop up out of the water like this is not unusual. We believe that the body just rose to the surface that afternoon when it was later identified. Harmon also emphasizes that understanding how Shabazz ended up in this pond and what killed him will take time. We can expect preliminary results hopefully within a couple of days, but unfortunately the final report as well as the official cause of death could be months after if not longer. WRAL's Eric Miller reporting there. He did check in with Shabazz's family today as well. They, of course, spent the day in that area knocking on doors, searching for a man they called a loving brother and father. But this afternoon, they did not want to comment. We will stay on top of it. Yeah.